Oh, I'm serious. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Before we get into today's topic, remember 12,500 subs by 2019, guys. We are so close. Help me hit that mark for my channel. I'm gonna do another giveaway when we do, but thank you to everyone who continues to watch these videos. Patrons, um, thank you specifically to you, my Twitch subs. I, your gifts are gonna be coming in the mail for those guys who responded to my email. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you're part of that. So anyway, let's talk about today's video. Intel, right? Their new Coffee Lake refresh is coming out and their new flagship i9-9900K is expensive, coming in right around 600 US. Now, while I fully expect this to be quite a performer in terms of gaming and productivity, we know for a fact that the benchmarks that Intel had a specific company um, basically uh, do for them were not accurate in the slightest. There have been a ton of blowback. Um, I'm gonna link actually the best video about this topic down below so you can watch it yourself. Just know that in terms of gaming, while the, I fully expect the Coffee Lake refresh to beat AMD, I don't imagine it's gonna be by a significant enough margin to justify the cost. And so if you are on the AMD side or if you're thinking about AMD, you're probably gonna still be safe to buy. Personally, I'm actually more an advocate for that because we know that there's gonna be seven nanometer coming out from AMD next year. So anyway, let's talk about today's topic. Because this CPU is so expensive, I thought it would be fun to say, hey, instead of buying that, why don't you build yourself an entire gaming system for the exact same cost? And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So I put together a PC part picker list that we're gonna go through. I'm gonna explain why I picked things the way I did and why I spent money the way I did. Hopefully for you guys, where you can build a gaming rig that can play any game at 1080p, high settings, no problem. So the first part in this list is the Ryzen 2600. The reason I went with this is it's a great all around CPU, especially for gaming and productivity. Because you have two extra cores and four extra threads, you are able to essentially do things like streaming and light content creation in addition to gaming. It also comes included with a really decent CPU cooler, so you are gonna be able to do light overclocking. It's an all around great CPU. Now for the motherboard choice, we actually went with the B355 from MSI, the B350 Pro. Now this is actually a very bare bones motherboard. There's no bells and whistles, but I've used it in a system before, which is why I trust it. Um, they've actually done a lot of BIOS updates. So even though on PC part pickers list, it may say incompatibilities because it might not be running the right BIOS version. Most manufacturers now have caught up. So if you buy this, you shouldn't run into that issue. Buying this now, they should have had enough time to catch up and update to the BIOS on the motherboards. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing eight gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM. Now 16 is preferred, and I would recommend that if you can afford it, that you add eight more gigabytes of RAM, but for now, this gives us a bare minimum of what we need to game um, because eight gigabytes is quickly becoming not enough um, for basically future tiles coming out. But um, RAM speed and timing is very important with AMD systems, so you wanna get the fastest kit you possibly can, and this is a good one for the cost. The next one down the line is we're actually able to afford not only a one terabyte hard drive for mass storage for games and um, other files you may want to store, but an SSD for boot. I've used Silicon Power before, they're not a fancy brand, but it's an absolutely solid SSD that you're gonna be able to get for cheap and it's not gonna let you down in terms of gaming. In terms of write speed, obviously it's not gonna be the fastest, but it's an extremely affordable way to get a boot drive and something for your games um, that you play the most often. The next thing down the line we're gonna do is the case. Now we're able actually to sneak in a pretty decent case from Thermaltake, the G. Um, 2100. This is essentially a uh, full panel, mid-sized case. It doesn't come included with a fan. It actually looks really good. And right now with rebate, you're able to get it for $30, which is pretty fantastic. So this is gonna allow you for a high cooling case that you're gonna be able to add fans into later if you so choose. Now, the next thing, of course, the meat of our build is the graphics card. Right now, you are able to get an RX 570 for right around $150. The price of these GPUs have come down significantly since cryptocurrency mining has become less popular. And right now, you're able to get them for a great deal. Um, the 570 performs really, really well for its price point. It's somewhere right between, um, you know, uh, well, right below, I should say, a 580 and a 1060. So this is gonna allow you to play any game at 1080p, no problem. Obviously, four gigabytes of RAM will restrict you in certain tiles for certain settings, but for the most part, you're not gonna run into any issues. Now, the last thing, obviously, is the power supply for the system, and for that, I decided to go with a last year's model from Corsair for bronze. This will actually allow you 
you to do light overclocking, um, surprisingly so. It's a very solid PSU. It's not that expensive. It's more power than you're gonna need for this system and it's gonna allow you to upgrade in the future. So guys, those are the reasons I did the parts I picked. Obviously, if you have a better build, feel free to link it down in the comments below. But what's crazy is that literally for the cost of this new CPU, you can build yourself a gaming system. And because you're going with AMD, you're gonna be able to upgrade that system with seven nanometer because it's supposed to be supported even with the B350 chipset. So you may not even have to upgrade that next year if you decide to, although like I said, the Ryzen 2600 is a great CPU. So the reason I decided to make this video in the first place is because Here's the thing, I'm an enthusiast and I am not an AMD or Intel fanboy. I make my decisions based off value. While the i9-9900K 9, 9, uh, is going to be a great performer, I have no doubt. The price that Intel is wanting is insane and the reason they're doing this is because uh, for multiple reasons, not the least of which is that they had shortages with their 14 nanometer. And so they're trying to recoup some of their losses um, by basically increasing the cost of CPU because they know enthusiasts are gonna buy them anyway. And so it's one of those things where I'm not on board with what they're currently doing. So I don't have any plans to build with them currently, but um, if you are gonna be buying an i9-9900K, uh, 9900K, I should say, or anything in their lineup, that's totally fine. But for the same cost as their CPU, you can literally build yourself a sweet entry-level gaming PC that is going to be able to play any title you want to, no problem. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit the like icon and that bell. YouTube's algorithm is really crappy. It basically pushes certain content um, or it doesn't notify you basically, if, even if you, sometimes you push the bell. So make sure you do so you can see when I drop new videos. As always, thanks to my Patreons and Twitch subs for making this channel happen by giving me their actual money. And if you wanna buy any of the parts that were listed through Amazon, my affiliate link is below. I've also listed all these parts on Amazon, but remember that the deals are spread out between a bunch of different websites. So I fully encourage you to buy the cheapest you can find, even if it doesn't support me directly through Amazon, because I want you get to get the best deal you can. As always, guys, I'm gonna make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do, and I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.